In a recent development, the Inspector General of Police has rescinded an order restricting the movement of essential workers amid the COVID-19 lockdown. Early on Tuesday, reports on how essential workers were restricted from moving within Lagos at the beginning of the 8 p.m. curfew imposed to limit the spread of COVID-19 virus. According to security officials enforcing the order, health workers and journalists could not be allowed to move around after 8 p.m. However, in a statement late Tuesday, the IGP Mohamed Adamu said essential workers can now go about their essential duties. All essential workers, including medical personnel, firefighters, ambulance services, journalists, etc., are exempted from the restriction of movement associated with both the partial lockdown and the national curfew across the Federation. Earlier, we spoke to the first public relations officer, DCP Frank Kumba, on this issue. Um, in the wake of all the controversies last night, we had to issue a statement uh, restating this position. And even as I speak to you today again, uh, following on ending inquiries about the status of essential workers as it relates to um, the position of the police and other, other law enforcement agencies enforcing the restriction order, as well as the national curfew, we've also issued another statement and unequivocally uh, stating the fact that persons who are on essential duties have got the right to move around but, uh, as long as they do so um, in, in the course of discharging their, 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 their essential duties. Now, can you, for the sake of clarity, give us a class of workers classified as essential workers? Just for the sake of clarity, one more time, to the viewers who are watching right now. Perhaps uh, I will start with you because, I mean, probably that's the only way I can get I can get you to begin to smile wherever you are. Um, journalists are clearly essential workers, uh, I mean, essential service providers for purposes of this definition. And of course, our medical personnel who are in the front line um, putting their lives uh, putting their lives in danger every day, uh, fighting tooth and nail to make sure that those who have been infected are treated and, um, and, and safely uh, discharged and are also part of the um, the essential workers or the essential service providers. Apart from the apart from journalists and medical workers, uh, uh, law enforcement agents are also essential um, service providers for these purposes. Ambulance service providers fall fall within this category, as well as firefighters. Of course, members of the Nigeria Armed Forces who are also involved in the enforcement duties touching on uh, COVID-19 regulations are also clearly uh, performing essential duties, and so they are also excluded. And beyond these categories of, of workers who are generically known as essential workers, the federal government also expanded the list of essential service providers to include uh, um, workers within the oil and gas industry, uh, tanker drivers who are moving petroleum products from one part of the country to the other, uh, persons who are moving agricultural products from one person uh, from one part of the country to, to the other, uh, telecommunication providers who need to keep working so that uh, we will be able to talk to each other and communicate uh, with each other, whether in, on, on Zoom or or, or other platforms, uh, those, uh, these categories of persons clearly fall within the essential service providers. 